One man is going to war with all vegans, okay? His name is Piers Morgan. You might have heard of him. Piers Morgan eats mm. steak in front of vegan protester. I wouldn't go this far to antagonize vegans, but we'll see. Their quest to make is all eat bland, plant-based gruel. They've tipped milk all over the floor of Portland and Mason and Selfridges in London. They've hurled white paint at the gates of the Houses of Parliament. Now they've targeted a high-end steakhouse in London. Whenever I see stuff like that, people going into these stores and, you know, protesting, mm. it's some, not even just like the, oh, you're destroying the store's property, which you are, and you're not, I mean, you shouldn't be doing that in the first place. But also, who's cleaning that up, dude? Yeah, it's the it's... minimum wage worker who probably has like another job and doesn't want to be there. And they're cleaning it up and you've made literally no difference. And the thing is, when you do something like this and you post it online, mm. this is why people don't take veganism seriously is because of these people. It is. There it are is. probably legitimate arguments, but I haven't heard any of them because I only see this. And this is the reason. <laughs> I mean, I honestly think the meat industry pays these people to do this this dude because yeah, it works it in their is favor. so anti-vegan to do this because you're making <laughs> yourself look like an utterly crazy person dude i can't imagine have you ever seen this irl because like I, I i feel like the west no. is like a fantasy because like you walk into a store and there's just like five people pouring out milk like is this normal does this happen uh, yeah i just I, I just go to like little shops near me i uh i've not seen any of this Mm. And uh, I kind of live in an area where I thought I would see more of this. So uh, not yet. Parliament, now they've targeted a high-end steakhouse in London. And the waitresses did what many have wanted to do with these protesters for a while. Take a look. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> oh my God, I literally can't come out, dude. Bro, bro, huge. Okay, like, what full-grown person does this, man? This is so nuts. She just gets up. Well, joining me uh, now is Animal Rebellion spokesman Nathan McGovern and celebrity chef Aldo Zilli. Got it right this time. He <laughs> picked me up, but it's Aldo, not Aldo. Aldo's a very British pronunciation of an Italian name. Uh, good to see you both. Uh, Nathan, let's start with you. Um, I I don't like vegans very much. I don't think any of you are very healthy. I'm not surprised by that. Please. Yeah, I think you all look pretty pasty-faced and unhealthy to me. Um, but that's your choice. What, what I don't that do tummy is action, I don't go right bro? <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't know. It's it's perfectly fine to be vegan, but I don't know the science behind mm. it. Is it actually healthier than meat eating? Surely not, so, right? When it comes to nutrition, nutrition is almost like astrology at a certain point. Like there's some mm. like eat your vegetables. Even that is sometimes contested. Like it is really just a, it's unknown really mm. what is good because I think everyone kind of varies a little bit and mm. it's like every study comes. So some people, I think a lot of the vegan arguments are definitely more, um, are definitely more cruelty based. And I think that mm. there's a pretty good argument, or at least the United States. Right, for sure, for the, sure. The treatment of animals on mass scale is not great. <clears throat> However, I think there's a different argument of like, oh, well, well, if we're going to treat them better, is veganism still like a good idea? Yeah. So I, I hear out the argument about it being like, whoa, we're really like not being the greatest animal. I mean, if every single animal was like free from harm the second I stopped, I personally stopped eating meat, I'd do it. I'd actually do it. But it's like, I know that yeah. some other guy's just going to eat it. So I'm like, all right. Well, yeah, it will make literally no difference exactly. on the individual scale. You'd have to support some massive government <laughs> intervention that they're, they're it's just never going to pass like yeah it's yeah. just going into vegan restaurants and start screaming abuse at you all and have to be pulled out by people because you're ruining everyone's fun why do you do that to meat eaters well piers you've started on an absolute blind today i actually brought a little game with me for the me aldo perhaps the audience to play it's a piers morgan a vegan bingo maybe we could oh my zoom god on that from the camera and you've actually just ticked off he did not get a straight away. I'll just go with that. With <laughs> bro, this, is, this is exactly why, like, he came in just to, like, start a fight. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, Piers Morgan is not very, like, welcoming or anything. But if you want to bring yeah. across your point, you can't just go, like, insulting the guy. I mean, it goes both yeah. ways. But yeah, Piers Morgan you're... isn't trying to, like, convince you of, like, anything, right? So this person should it's be like nice. You're given an opportunity. You, okay, you have the minority opinion, and you're giving an opportunity to go on TV in front of millions of people to try and convince them. It is a terrible idea to start being condescending, 
aggressive yeah. and snarky. Uh, you've literally shut off 90% of people from listening to you. You exactly. could say something totally true and they will not care because of how you start. Yeah, the only people <laughs> listening are the YouTubers reacting to your stupidity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trying to pick you apart right now. Oh, column already. So the thing is, within years, technology like precision fermentation, you know, alt protein is going to produce the exact same products that you love right now using a fraction of the land, producing a fraction of the carbon yeah, but I like you mean. It's the exact same product. No, kids. but I like eating meat. Fine. You know, you'd be eating the exact same product. In fact, the more the you guys do is going to mean, the more, I, the more meat I want to eat. That's absolutely fine. No, it's true. Okay, okay, listen. Piers is a little bit unreasonable. If it Obviously, if it tasted exactly the same, uh, I'm sure some people would switch over. It's just, it doesn't yeah. at the moment. So it's kind of yeah, hard to switch I, over. I've had like the Beyond Meat burgers before. I don't really like vegan burgers, but mm. Beyond Meat burgers taste good. They just don't taste like meat. I'm a little sketched out, and this is obviously not scientific or medical advice, mm. but there's like a thousand ingredients that goes into that. Yeah. And I, 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 look, I'm not saying anything because I don't know. I'm yeah, not a doctor, I don't, I don't that really is... know the science behind how you recreate the exact taste of meat mm -hmm. using plant products. Surely it's got to be like super artificial. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, really, <laughs> it, it's a bit, honestly, it's true. The more stuff you do like this, Sorry, I, think, just... I didn't catch that. You, it's true, is it? You've said that about three times. I didn't, I didn't what's, what's catch true? it. That you, that you like eating meat. You yes. Know? Oh, oh, thanks. I didn't get it the first yeah. three times. I, I mean, yeah. How committed a vegan are you? He's so annoying, dude. How He's committed so a annoying. vegan am I? Would you eat, do you drink almond milk? Oh, you've ticked off another one. Fantastic, you want, Piers. Does, you does are have, on an absolute Does it have roll. answering questions? Though? I don't know. I'll, I'll keep that one hidden from you. Know, just, it, take, take the fun out Can you just answer questions? Otherwise, it's not much of an interview. I mean, you have your little chart, but... Do what you is that tongue, bro? What are you doing? Yeah, he's got to chill with the tongue. Like, he is really starting off for it. Also, just answer, I mean, you do you drink chart, almond milk? But, but like, Do you drink almonds? So he gives a little... No. Do you eat almonds? No. Do you eat avocado? No. What do you eat? What do you drink? I love seasonal British fruit and veg. Right. You know, I love supporting British farmers. I love going to a farmer's mm. market, seeing what they have to offer. You know, I okay. love eating a plant-based diet. But most diet. science now <laughs> says that if you don't have a balanced diet, it's actually unhealthy for you. Yeah, exactly. That's why a, pl a plant-based diet, a balanced plant-based diet is healthy. We, why does do he got to be like that, Your restaurant is very close to where this happened, right? What do you feel about these activists running in, ruining people's meals? Listen, um, 25 years ago, I opened one of the first vegetarian restaurants in London, in Soho. And... Um, if it was now, it's probably more successful then. It didn't get very successful. But anyway, come cut long story short. I don't have any problems. I've written a, a vegetarian book, not a vegan book. I don't have any problems with um, vegan and veganism and vegetarian because I have restaurants. I'm a consultant for a number of restaurants, number of restaurant companies, and uh, we have vegan and vegetarians on menu. So. I don't understand when it gets out of hand that these people have to well, they disrupt have no our business. Well, because they have no respect for meat eaters. Uh, but if we were doing the same thing to them, they'd all go nuts, right? Wouldn't you? will go nuts if I came running into your little vegan hell holes and began screaming abuse. You'd all. That's true. That's true. There is a bit of a double standard there. Like <clears throat> you can have your morals, but don't really try to enforce it upon other people. That just makes mm -hmm. you a scumbag. Like you know, you yeah, know, you see all effective. these, you see all these crazy, like I don't know vegan women who just like run into the store with like a head of like a chicken or like a cow and it's like just so bloody and they're just like showing it yeah. to everybody at mcdonald's like what the hell is that ever gonna accomplish like so dumb yeah it, it, it's also like you know the vegan teacher super popular a really year ago mm. and that reached a lot of like younger kids and a lot of kids now believe veganism is like the cringiest thing ever because they associate yeah. it with the vegan. <laughs> yeah. And this is like the same domain. Mm. People really think that all press is good press, but mm, it's that's really not, not true in every circumstance. The vegan teacher, if it's all bad press. The vegan teacher probably single-handedly did more damage to veganism than any other <laughs> activist in, in the history of yeah, veganism. No, real though. Like she, she, like she was preaching veganism while simultaneously being the most annoying, like racist, hateful person on the planet like yep. it was nuts so i think her out the idea was i need to get eyeballs at any i need to get people to the resources at or like the the websites at any, any cost. cost yeah but the, the thing was the cost was the respect and the integrity of veganism Bro, so the, completely the costs were out. in scrambled brain cells that are <laughs> Do on a daily basis yeah. <laughs> I'm not throwing my toys out of the pram right now Piers. Uh, I'm, you... I'm loving this to be honest what do you love what are you loving 
I'm loving it, this open conversation that we're having about this actual quite But why do you have issue. to go and, and do a, a restaurant and uh, disrupt our business, disrupt the customers, other people that want to eat the meat, other people that want to enjoy themselves, they want to go and have a night out. Uh, I don't have any problems with you guys coming to our restaurants and ordering a vegan dish. In fact, in January, we always do a, a veganuary and we go through a lot of different um, ingredients to create menus for you guys. I don't understand why we have to suffer. Uh, your this guy's really like understanding and stuff and he's trying to bridge yeah. the gap. I feel like the vegan should have just been like, okay, we, we disavow these people who are causing all this chaos. We just want to spread yeah. our message in a good way. But instead, he, he's sticking up for them, which is not, not the mm. move. Or a, a mentality of coming to our restaurants and trying to disrupt the customers that are having a fantastic time the, and they want to the, eat the steak. What's the answer? No, it's actually a good question, Aldo. And actually, it's fantastic that you create fantastic vegan dishes. The fact of the matter is, when we look at high-end restaurants, you know, Salt-based restaurant, Manor up in Manchester that was also disrupted the weekend, these are symbols of a broken system, you know. Why, because he makes nice Symbols food. of a broken system where, you know, there's 1,500 quid getting charged make, for a steak. Why is he making millions I around the world? I was, I was in one of his restaurants last week in Qatar. I loved it. Fantastic. But he served me. I've got a clip of him. Yeah, yeah I was waiting for you to show uh, up. I was wondering little, how long it would take. It was me doing his little yeah. uh, salt trick. He told me. You, weren't, you weren't very good did, at it. Did he see him at the World Cup? The screen. Yeah, well, what did he do? It was so controversial. I just saw that he got. Well, like, he, he went and harassed all the players after they won. So he's like, he's like, Messi was trying to talk to his family, and then he just grabs him by the arm, and he's like, hey, take a picture with me. And then he play, he, he like kisses the World Cup trophy a bunch of times when he didn't do anything. Like he's not even a Dude, player. That's, that's a little tough. Not yeah. Then lie. then he like mm -hmm. he bites a player's medal while they're wearing it. Which is like that's so weird. weird, bro. This guy, and yeah, then he, and then he, weird, dude. yeah, and and then instead of like congratulating the players or anything, he just he looks to the camera and does a salt bay thingy, whatever, with his hand, and it's like mm. it's the most overused garbage meme ever, bro. Like he's like the most hated mm. person now. And then actually <laughs> cooked it in front of yeah. him. He fed me actually directly, fed me the meat into my mouth. It was delicious. Loved but it. I, loved I, it. I would invite any vegan. But if you'd run in and tried to interrupt and just ruin everyone's night, I would have done what those waitresses did, just thrown. Out. That's absolutely fine. So, what's the point of it all? What does it achieve? None of you make me want to change my mind. I just this guy just keeps saying squeaks. that's absolutely Honestly, fine. I do. It's the same when you're chucking paint at Van Gogh paint things. It's the same when you're tying yourself to fuel pumps or hanging yourself on bridges and stopping people using dart for tunnel. It's all the same. You're just all too annoying. So the British public Facts. don't like annoying people, and they don't like their lives being disrupted. They want their freedom to have a choice, the choices I had in Qatar last week to have Salt Bay, whose restaurant you, well, you, can you invaded, you... to do this to my mouth. <laughs> can Look, you imagine someone that's, coming that's in fine, this is it. This and is, disrupting this is your my... evening? Have we got the clip? What is this guy? Dude, he's come on this interview and said zero words other than that's fine. He came in and just like, uh, with so much like, I don't know, like, gotcha moment here, super snarky. And then he just completely fizzled, dude. He's just kind of like, yeah, you can do what you want. Like he's fizzling out after coming in so hot. It's like, you got my attention, dude. You yeah. better bring something good. I feel like he's kind of embarrassed of being embarrassed. Like he don't doesn't yeah. want to get caught being saying something stupid, but then he just doesn't say anything at all. Oh, wash. Oh, he's yeah. running, okay. No, but can you imagine you coming to our restaurants and, and then you get some people coming to your table and trying to disrupt your evening. It's a pouring it's milk abuse. on your I'm food. Gonna start, Ryan, I'm going to start mm. running into vegan restaurants. That's fine. Go I'm just shouting that's your, that's and right, being annoying right and just grabbing is. tables and so you can't eat your gruel and just see how you not like it. <laughs> I'm going to go to your house and chop paint Piers. all over it. Piers. Oh, you've got boy. Right <laughs> you've got me another one. Fan. Take it off there your bingo. Uh, Take it off your bingo, son. But where's the salt? Where's, where's it? Won't need any of this gruel. Let's put that to one side, but I will have a bit of steak just to... You didn't salt it, though. You see, all you've achieved is you've made me want to do this. Just that's eat that's lovely... absolutely fine. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> you go for it. Mm. <laughs> do you know what This would be an opportunity for him to explain why. It's like, why? But he's... Yeah. Well, this is the this is where he would say, "Oh, this is why I'm a vegan. This is why I think other should people. Yeah, this is why I think other people should be a vegan." But instead, he's like, "That's fine." I genuinely why are you think here. Why are you on TV, dude? I genuinely think like Piers was treating him so badly from the get go when he didn't even do anything that he actually could have won this whole interview and debate. 
if he was actually a rational person. Like he, he can he can talk about how disrespectful it is eating steak right in front of his face or something, and then bring mm-hmm. up like I don't know some 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 of the uh, machinery and how they animals or whatever but instead he's like that's absolutely fine let me take off my bingo card like what are you doing bro what dude (laughs) and and now i will allow it like it's no longer disrespectful because this guy's a clown Mm -hmm. and he deserves to be disrespected takes his ad from my restaurant (laughs) yeah a lot a lot a lot but here's my point i love eating steak i'm not going to stop eating steak yeah and the the very last thing on earth that will stop me eating steak it's people like you with your pasty faces running into our restaurant <laughs> telling us to stop eating steak. That's, That's the fine. very last thing that I'm going to do. absolutely Because you, you don't fine. represent to me yes. vitality or good health. Can, that, we, can, we, can we have what a, is, can we have a counter? Uh, that's absolutely fine, Counter. He said it at least 15 times. That's ridiculous. You must have failed the big class. Someone says something, okay. <laughs> it's like, what? Brother, what? It's all like yeah. you want a good bit of steak. That's absolutely oh, fine. Oh my God! Everybody entitled to that opinion, and as I've just said earlier, you're right to protest if you want to run into your the mates are also the extinction absolutely rebellion, fine. right? My mates. You're all like interwoven, like you said before we came on. What, like a like a woolen blanket. Well, are you together. connected or not? No. So we're a sister movement. A sister? So what's that? Rebellion. Sounds a bit sexist. No, we we have you know common goals. You know. What are your common as, goals? Irritating people. <laughs> such, as, as, such as tackling the climate and ecological emergencies, mm. which you know. I'm sure all of us. What did you think of Meghan and Harry using a private plane? Oof! There we go, Meghan Markle. That's another one. What That's the four two? for nine. Ah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to give you that. What mate. did you think of them using a private plane to, to go to this uh, award show? You must be furious, it's right? It's incredible how you manage Are you furious? to turn this into. Bro, he's not even answering the question. How like people? How these like people are so hypocritical? You know, they'll preach. All these things like save the environment and then go use private jets. Yeah, wait, why is he (laughs) dodging? Wait, I'm actually genuinely confused. Why is he dodging this? Because Pierce Morgan like almost gave him a softball to make a point. I think Pierce Morgan kind of felt bad. He's like, hey, you know, (laughs) don't uh, we should also say celebrities like you should hold yourself to your own standards. This is kind of a point that they probably can both agree on. This is a bridge. And he's like, you're... uh, why is he dodging the soft? I don't. Too, I genuinely oh think he <laughs> has no idea how to answer the question, and all he oh came prepared God. was to do the stupid bingo, which is it's it's it literally has proved nothing. Like, what what does taking this bingo even do? Like, okay, Piers Morgan is he's probably spent so much time preparing that bingo, and now he's like, oh man, it's not as effective as I thought. <laughs> Jesus, he's such a. I mean, I don't want to say this, but soy boy, like, dude is. Dude is like five thousand yeah, percent soy. You know, human body seventy percent water or whatever. This guy ninety nine percent soy. <laughs> yeah. Upon Megan hey, and hey, Harry, Mason, you're you're a gender peers. Oh, you just talked about the environment. I just, wonder, I just wonder whether. You go in their plane? I just wonder no, whether you f- do you feel. I, I wouldn't go on. Do you plane, feel no, angry no. they used a private plane or not? No, I think what, what we should have is affordable travel for right. everyone. But they, they used wow, a- dude is so smart. You are you actually telling me that Meghan Markle or whatever and the Prince of England or whatever uh, can't use commercial planes? Like, what is he even trying to yeah, say? Wait, he's like such a train wreck. He's like, we <laughs> should have affordable planes. That's why I used a private jet. Like, what are you even on about, bro? Yeah, I'm I'm so confused. This guy's such an idiot. Uh, what plane. we should have is travel systems. Do you criticize them for using a private plane, plane or not? You know, or because they're the woke king and queen, you're not allowed to. They're using a plane. Is it I would have much. Can't? I would have much preferred. You know why you can't? Don't you, Nathan? Because this is against Piers, this is hypocrisy. To you your can't face, because you, Nathan I am McGovern, you. you don't want to read a headline tomorrow saying Nathan McGovern from Animal Rebellion slams Meghan and Harry for using private plane. You don't want to say it because, like them, you're a flaming hypocrite. You'd oh, rather go in. There we go. You've got me a column. You'd rather. Brilliant. You'd rather go. You'd theater. rather go into restaurants like Aldo's or Salt God, Bay's or whatever so and just make oh a nuisance God. of yourselves because it's easier. But what easier. you should be doing is you're intellectually honest and say, Meghan and Harry, stop using private planes. But you won't yeah. because they're your I will, I will say it right now if you let me. I will say it right now Aldo, if you will let me. Final words to you. About... A balanced diet. Most <laughs> oh science I've gosh. read lately. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Pierce is ruthless in his Pierce, Pierce like, is pretty like, and, like obviously he's not being fair to him. But the thing is, mm-hmm. for nine minutes he's done absolutely nothing that he's deserves. Had a lot of opportunities. Yeah, he's had so much chance to talk and he hasn't. And now he wants to talk at the end 
but to get like everybody's attention. So Piers is countering him off or whatever. Obviously, he's not the best interviewer, but come on, this guy mm. had nothing to work with. So that actually he having no meat in your thought at all. This is unfair, it's obviously. But he's, he's given opportunities. Mm. He's fucked. Right or fish? Yeah, I mean, we have to have a balanced diet, and we it's important for our well-being, for getting healthy. If you work out in the gym like I do, I need to have maybe some uh, good protein. Yeah. Oh, and that's facts, bro. Like I was, I was looking at like vegetarian protein options. It is impossible, bro. Like Jesus Christ, it is so hard to yeah, get enough. There protein. are there are like key and something protein powders, so you could get enough protein. Yeah, but they're not even huh? as like efficient as whey, because like not most of it is not absorbed. Like at least that's what I hear. Yeah, for diet advice, the only thing I'd say since I don't know if like vegan is good or all meat is good or in between is good. All I can say is like, if you just, if you're trying to avoid, just avoid the processed food, whether that mm. be meat or vegetables or whatever, if you avoid the processed food, you'll be on a good track, whether you're a vegan or not. Thanks. If you have to take like one thing away from this. Mm -hmm. If I, if I don't, I, I did go vegan for six months, um, a, couple, kill a couple of years ago. <laughs> Nearly killed me. I, and, went, uh, it, I went vegan for an hour, I had a lettuce. It, it, it didn't oh, kill oh, me. Oh. It didn't kill oh, me. What about that vegan Greg sausage roll? It was disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Complete racket. Exactly. Yeah. More calories in a Greg's vegan sausage roll than there are in a McDonald's cheeseburger. What I don't I'd rather understand. Than a McDonald's What's irrelevant? At least I, I will say I've only had <coughs> vegan food like once and then it, it was disgusting. But that was years ago. Maybe it's better now. The meat substitutes, just make your own good food. Don't try and substitute a meat product. Yeah. I guarantee are just not there yet, okay? <laughs> in this case. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of delicious, like, vegetarian food, so you can just capitalize yeah. on that. It's naming <laughs> the dishes, you know, the, like, the meat. I just think, Nathan, look, Nathan, here's the point. If you want to win an argument, you just can't be annoying all the time. You can't just ruin everyone's fun <laughs> and their lives. I got around. a point, dude. Like you <laughs> have the only way forward for the life in the universe, the Nathan McGovern rule book. It's not me. Thou shalt do this, it's this, and this. Oxford Unless University. you're Megan and Harry, it's then you can Harvard do what you like. University. It's the IPCC peers. This isn't me. I'm not a scientist. Right. I'm perfectly Thank happy you. to admit that. I think that. we'll leave it People on the fact from the that University you're, of Oxford, you're not an expert. University of Harvard. You're not an IPCC. expert. Neither are you, and you should listen to you're them. You're not an expert. I think we'll leave it at that. Nathan? Don't Thank come you. to bro, to This was such a disaster. So bad. Bro. So bad. He fumbled so bad.